Vlak, English vlog, English vlog. Um, si ano? Okay. Oh, guess part. Uh, tulong ako. Mag-vlog ng English about sa barriers in communication. Um, or communication subject. Okay. Sure. Okay? Yep, okay na sa akin. Okay, thank you. Salamat. Sige. Wala akong pangang. Catch brother. Sige, ikaw na bala ha. Good. Salamat. So, yun nga po. What's up mga pars? And welcome again to another video of OBG. Our topic right now are the barriers to communication which can lead to communication breakdown. So without further ado, let's start the video! First, we're going to tackle about the barriers to communication. We have the very first one which is physical barriers. Physical barriers are the natural or environmental condition that act as a barrier in sending the message between the sender and the receiver. Most likely good examples are these ones. First, we have people talking too loud. I'm going to get lag! Oh my God. And that, my friends, is a very good example of a physical barrier. <laughs> okay, so first one we have people talking too loud, as you can see here. Second one we can have um, noise from your surroundings. Third one we could have people singing in karaoke. Karaoke, whatever you, however you pronounce it. And last one is. The blaring of chimneys. So, next, physiological barriers are barriers that refer to as mental barriers. These barriers refer to the social and personal issues of a speaker towards communicating with others. Examples of these are trauma, shyness or lack of confidence, depression, or fear or stage fright. As you can see here. And the third one, we have the cultural barriers. These barriers pertain to what we say, uh, how could I say this? Um, our difference in beliefs, intrinsic values, or anything that has to do with our culture. And because, you know, different countries have different cultures, especially in different locations, okay? So, this can pertain to different beliefs, traditions, and customs. Others can see as manners of dressing or even with speaking. The fourth barrier to communication can be considered as the linguistic barrier, where it pertains regarding to our language, our difference in language. Sometimes words can carry connotative and denotative meanings, and this can lead to misunderstandings and, you know, confusion. This also varies sometimes depending on our culture. Example of these are difference in languages, accent and dialect, use of jargon or slang, Ain't nobody got time for that. Bruh. or speech defects or language impairments. Now let's move on to another set of noises which can lead also to communication breakdown. Vertebra in 1991 also gave a similar idea of barriers when he classified noise into three kinds. First, he had external noises like this one. Second are eternal noises like for example this one. Okay, skip. Then, third, we have semantic noises, like this one. Okay, so that's it folks for our video and I hope you enjoyed and had a little bit of knowledge regarding our topic. So right now, I have to say goodbye and of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe na mga pards! And stay tuned! Will you do the honors? Sige ba! Thank you! Paala!